All right, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to Neptunia for the PS3. The PS3. I, I, I keep making that joke. I don't know why. Anyways, I do have some good news. Um, I reset my computer last night, and I think it installed the AMD graphics card update correctly, because it said the last one I had was from February, and now... The one I have right now is from June, so I think my drivers are up to date, which may fix some of the problems I had with OBS flickering and crapping itself. We'll see. I, I don't know, but anyways, that's not that important. We're gonna go find more of the key fragments. We got the funny lean box area. Which means more booba, more guys running away and being pussies. The usual, the usual in lean box land. <laughs> I think we are about to do a dungeon, yeah. Also, I was kind of curious about something. Because all of the characters, all of the NPCs in this game, they actually have, like, sprites in um they have sprites in like the rebirth in rebirth one i'm kind of curious i forgot what jad and turquoise look like you know we should give the good old um we should give the good old uh neptunia wiki you know a look um yeah there here it is so let's see i got skeleton archer thanks terraria what does Jad even look like? I, I know he has a, a sprite. Wait, is he... Wait a minute, is he exclusive? Is he exclusive to this game? Huh, it's, it doesn't say he's in the remake. Is that why I don't remember him? <laughs> Weird, okay. So wait, okay, hang on then. These guys are actually exclusive to this game. These guys don't show up in the remake. So they cut out... They cut out, like... Parts of the remake then. That's interesting. I did not know that. So this entire, um... This entire, like, plot point is brand new to me then. That's why they, those guys didn't seem very familiar. Makes sense now. Why would they do that, though? Why would they just remove the Jad and Turquoise subplot in the remake? Oh, oh hey, Red. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> That's a good, uh... What a great thing to start the dungeon with. The camera is all kinds of jank in this game. All right, well, let's call some monsters. Let's fight fair and square. So those blue like th th that that stuff. Do this. Evilness will never prevail. That blue thing on the ground. I can't even tell if that's actually like a dungeon spot or like a monster spot or if that's just like part of the environment. It's kind of hard to tell honestly. Let's keep going. Are you keeping up with did you think that was it? Alright, just just keep just keep Did bullying this guy. Token. Okay, this guy's a little stronger. Not yet. Dynamic slash. Alright, just kick this guy's ass. Why am I using ice? <laughs> it's a terrible idea for a bird enemy. It's still my turn. I still don't even really know if most of these guys even have an elemental weakness. Alright, have another one. Here's another bird. A bird up, dude. Did you think? Did you think? Alright. Alright, defend again. Uh oh, Gust is almost dead. 
I think I'm pretty sure the only way Gus can heal is... Yeah, she only heals with the Gus healing pod. Oh, she heals upon defense. No, I think we'll be fine. I mean, it does cost more, but healing everybody is always good. So, yeah, Gus's mechanic is kind of interesting, because she has to apply a status to herself before she can take full advantage of any of her, um, moves. And if I'm not mistaken, can she only do it, um... She, she applies it upon action, or end of action. So, you'd have to basically plan it out like a turn in advance, I guess. I mean, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> Alright, bye, lol. Guard break's kind of pointless there. Alright, here comes another bird. I didn't- Oh, that's the problem. That's the problem. I I'm not defending with Gust, so she's not actually getting the heal in that she needs. At least, at least I don't think she is. Well, if Gus dies, that would Did that would sure suck. Oh, oh, she lived. She lived. Here's what I'll do then. I'm gonna. What I'll do? I'm gonna have her defend. There we go. She got a heal in. And now if he can finish it off. Nice timing, huh? Thanks, Ify. Justice lies in everyone's heart. Now that experience is that's a lot more worth it, I'd say. Even though nobody got a level up. But that's okay. <laughs> we turned the encounters off for a little while. Okay, so where's the treasure at? My turn to do something? Mm, the treasure is over that way. Well, I hope I don't pass by it. Although, at this point, it doesn't really matter too much because, um... You know, like... I feel like I'm, I'm all suited up for, like, the end game. Maybe that's just me, but... I really feel that way. Oh, hang on. We got, uh... We got an enemy, a big enemy here. He doesn't have a voice clip for that. It's, it's really weird. <laughs> Alright, how tough is this guy gonna be? Oh, this is the really strong one. I, never let my... I think this is the one that gives like 50,000 experience or something. I never let my prey go. Not yet. I mean, he only did 300. That didn't hurt. It's probably because we have all the good defense. Should have defend. Actually, I don't really need to defend, honestly. I'll get you. All right, now you can defend. I mean, Gus definitely needs to defend because she's very fragile, and we don't want her to die. Nisa seems to be a lot tankier, so right, getting better. she can take a few hits at least. If he is the main character now. Honestly, if he really does feel like the secondary main character of this game, too <laughs> bad. Just because of how many cutscenes she gets with Red and uh, you know, Red and Five PV. We're still fine. We're doing good still. Entering max power. All right. Yep. Just just keep just keep bowling this guy. Useful words. Eventually, um... Well, actually, here's what I'll do. I'll have Gust put the healing pot on herself. 
So if Hira does get below 30%, then she can actually heal herself. Because <laughs> she really needs it. And I don't like wasting heals on the, you know, the healing pod. I never let my prey... She's fine. Ooh, shit. <laughs> you can take another hit, though, right? Entering max. Keep keep going with the combos. I, I forget what high ten. I forget what high tension does. Like, does it, it makes you do more damage, but you, your AP costs more. It's kind of weird. It's like, it's like both a beneficial and a not beneficial, um, status. They're kind of like neutral statuses, if those even exist. Did you think that at least the guard, uh... All right, getting at, at least the guard gauge goes down pretty damn quickly. She can probably take another hit. Wow, Gus took that. Oh, okay, there we go. How much does the hero drink even cost? It's like 10 reflexes and 4 gelatins. It's, yeah, that's like nothing. It's pretty simple, honestly. A heroine. A heroine. I'm just gonna keep jamming out to the music. Yeah, give me that guard break. I never just keep just keep doing I the combo. My prey go. Did you think that was it? Too bad. Boom. Uh oh. Okay, now he definitely needs to heal. Four forty-five. Oh, Gus still didn't heal from that. I guess she's not the low thirty percent yet. It really looks like she is, though. I'll finish you off. Honestly, I should probably. I kind of want her to heal before we end the fight. So I actually would rather not kill this guy. I'm okay, just defend. I'm gonna have Iffy not kill this guy, so I'm actually I'm actually gonna defend here. I wanna I wanna let Gus get hit so she can heal. I mean, or you could do that. Okay, I guess you don't have to attack her either. Big green grass is gonna kick it anyway. It's fine. Entering max power mode. Look at that experience. Oh, wanna be stronger. Holy shit, we all gained the level up. Holy shit. Deluxe combo. She got two levels from that. I won't lose. Gunman Spirit. Level up. Ify is level 38 now. Red got four levels. Yay! I leveled up! Compa. And 5PB learned healer grass. That was pretty good. Pretty good for levels, I'd say. Yeah, those guys are always worth fighting. That's why, like, encounters really don't real They don't really matter much in this game, because if you ever need experience, you just fight those guys. <laughs> so that's basically it. Okay, we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna find out if we missed the treasure or not. Well, hey, there's a treasure. Item obtained. That's actually nice because I needed those. I'm kind of running low on gelatins. Let's see what we find. Uh, no, I did not miss the treasure, so it's over here then, somewhere. So these little, these little blue markings on the ground, those are not enemy. Those are not for the monster called. That's just part of the environment, which got me really confused. My turn to do something. Oh, I think I see where the treasure is spawning. 
Let me let me get a feel for this. My turn to do something. Aha! What is in here? I mean, that's not bad. I got that. Got those for free. Not sure of this. There's not much of this dungeon left. Uh, that's a, that's a kind of a habit I need to break at some point. It's like just singing and st to compensate for my lack of commentary. I need to stop doing that. I can take care of this alone. Even though it is really tempting. Okay, uh, how the fuck am I gonna deal with this? Oh. What the hell, why are these guys so easy, huh? The butterfly gets an attack. 500 damage, that's like nothing, bro, what the hell? Why are you so easy? I fought like those weird birds earlier, and they were really tough. Hmm. Not sure what's up with that. Oh, that bro, bro really split up all the items like it's TTYD. I found treasure. All right, that's ten more. I mean, in other words, ten reflexes is basically about seven hundred credits worth now. Because now that we have Gust, buying items is cheaper, which is always nice. Back off! Don't waste your life. And I do like, I do like that the, the discount is very helpful. Unfortunately, we're not killing this cobra. Uh oh, she got poisoned. Get him with your gun, Nisa. Wasn't worth it. <laughs> Thirty-nine hundred. Okay, we're still getting some experience, at least. Do, 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 do. There I go, singing again. Force a habit, really. Alright, let's actually save, because every other- every time I forget to save, it ends up, like, really kicking my butt. I'll protect the piece of game industry. This is not what I was expecting. I don't think I was supposed to fight this dude. This is a Comes another bird up. This is a bonus. Take it. Get rid of the bird up. Just say we're on a different level. I don't think that's what I was. I don't think I was supposed to fight that guy. All right, here we go. Oh boy, our favorite funny witch is back. <laughs> so you finally come. I was waiting for you. I can't let you survive. Sneeze since attack. You know the evangelist is. The time is now, Neptune. The time is Brace now. Yourself for death. Wait, hold up. R4 is John Cena confirmed? This going to be tough. Alright, our second R4 fight. I mean, we're just fighting her again. What's so special about it? Did you think that was it? I can do fathom and get a uh, another combo Did you link. Think that was it? Too bad. All right, let's see what happens. A wind attack. Oh boy. Ouch. Paralysis. That's not good. And I um, how does she has a paralysis thing, right? Um, yeah, anti-paralysis. Have her, uh, cure that next turn. Let me, let me look at these real quick. This is upon, this is upon action, this is upon damage. We'll, we'll eventually cure that thunder. A heroine's turn. Alright, let's defend. Let's defend. 
I'm surprised he- I'm surprised Gus still didn't heal. Yeah. Uh, she has 30 I'm um, doesn't that does she not have 30% or less HP? 50% or less. I guess we could do the special healing pod then. Wait a minute. Restores 30% of the party's HP. Oh, this one's upon damage. Okay. Oh, so she has exactly a hundred now. A hundred uh, AP. A perfect Would you like special item? I mean, it heals everybody, so I'm fine with that. It happens every time I defend, and we're gonna be defending anyway, so it's not a bad thing. Wow, 10 AP back. How exciting. Did you think that was it? <laughs> Did you think that was it? All right, defend. Always defend. Not yet. Ooh. Damn. Okay. How can All right, red grass is kicking in. I guess. This is a good time. I think thirty percent or less might be the red Ooh, HP. Close call. Yay! Wait, it only heals her. Did it, am I misreading that? It says restores 10% of everyone's HP, but it only healed her. <laughs> what? what the hell? This heal this heals Oh, this applies upon action. So if I'm 30% or less, I can apply lunatic to myself. Interesting. Yeah, I should be having a look more at what combo skills activate upon action. That's Quick Pod. Quick Pod is basically green grass, but it happens at the it happens on her turn. That's not bad, actually. Okay. Okay, let's just keep attacking then. I'll finish you off. If he's gonna be the, you know, he's gonna carry this team, but. You know, I, I want Gust and Nisa to get some, you know, some experience in. A perfect combo. Defend. Didn't Gust get a new skill? I could have sworn she did. X triangle triangle triangle. We did that one already. Well, X circle circle circle. This is a deal. Check this. Deluxe combo. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Musical words. Gust campaign. Sure. We'll do that as her one of her combos. The gunplay, the gunplay with Iffy is not good, and the physical with uh, Gust is not very good either. Yeah, do you see how much damage did? Like, did like seven hundred. It was like nothing. Iffy's magic just straight up sucks in this game. <laughs> yeah. I got a fuck ton of AP back for that. I'll finish you off. Alright, that was good. That was a good turn. Oh boy. That is not good. It's not what I wanted to see. Oh, she got par paralyzed again. Crap. I'm gonna have to kick, kick that in again. And Gus still has, um... She still has the Gus healing pod. This is a deal. Deluxe combo. I want to see deluxe combo. Work. Let's get busy. <laughs> That's pretty funny. 
Alright, I'm gonna defend with that. Would you like special item? Always good to get a heal in. I never let me All right, That's a good better. that's a good move to combo off of. Thank God, Nisha's is so tanky. Oof. Okay, we're fine. I think we won't need healing this turn. Entering the this R4 fight is definitely going better than the one I had with Neptune and Kampa back in the Wii, though. That one was a pain in the ass. A heroine's turn. All right, here we go. This is a deal. I'm never this generous. Gust campaign. That's good. There you go. She's about half dead now. All right. I never let my pre All right. Her guard is gonna break again next turn. Yeah, 800. Nisa's really tanky. Yeah, she, he, she heals her paralysis and heals a little bit, so... I think Nisa can tank another hit? I think. She should be fine, honestly. Pretty. I'm getting amped up! Penguins! I need to get rid of the stupid you compiling shaders thing. Penguin! That's the, um... That's the, the Nippon Ichi penguin. <laughs> that's their little penguin mascot. Oh, yes! She's getting pretty damn close to dying. I'm never this generous. All right, the fan again. Would you like special items? Oh, she's low enough to heal. Okay, that's good. Then we're basically fully healed. Did you think that was? A All right, getting better. Very nice. All right, just the fan. We're gonna be fine for another turn. Not yet. Low tension. Since when the fuck could R4 apply low tension? What the hell? Wait a minute, low tension... It lowered her speed, uh, just enough that she can't move. What the hell? That's... is that normal? The thing is, the game doesn't even explain how the statuses work, so... That's kind of the problem. <laughs> Deluxe combo. Honestly, my favorite. I'm a little serious now. That's not bad, honestly. A perfect con a decent attack there. Oh boy, paralysis again. <laughs> that didn't hurt. Oh, like they both of us with paralysis. Shit. Ouch. And low tension. Great. I hope this helps. Okay, well, she's almost dead, though, so we're gonna be okay, I think. Entering. The thing is, I have a shit ton of, um... I have a shit ton of, like... What you call it? Um... Like, combo link moves? So, if he's just gonna get a crap ton of combo links out of this... So, her turn... Her turn's basically never gonna end. This is a bump. And eventually, I'm gonna break right. her guard. So, her applying, um... Let my prey go. Her applying low tension to me is kind of a bad thing for her, actually. <laughs> Did you think that was it? <laughs> yeah, you see. This is a bonus. Sixty-one hits. Speed will do the trick. <sighs> You're asking for it. 
Not bad. Not bad. All right, getting better. <laughs> like the biggest combo ever. Can you read my moves? Not bad. I got. I won't accept this. How could I? I got a 76 combo. Good ingredients. Ooh. I'm stronger. Yo, we got a hundred thousand experience, just like we got from that Cleon earlier. Gust excellent heal. <laughs> Whoa, I can feel the energy. Heal drink X. And some low sir red and five PV. <laughs> I don't know fighting yet. I didn't think I'd lose. Looks like those monsters were useless experience fodder after all. <laughs> good, good line. You know what? I'm putting that in my screenshots. <laughs> we'll keep evolving and growing and learning through each battle. Monsters can't stop us. Okay, Neptune casually just dropping a fucking um, casually just dropping a fucking Pokemon reference. Also, my face cam's too big. I think. <laughs> I don't, actually, I can't tell. It's covering R Force face. <laughs> I think that's just ha her sprite, though. You're so cool. He's yes, so cool. We will evolve and we will never lose. Kaba, you didn't do anything in that fight. Fighting anymore? It's all over. Kind of sad. <laughs> it's not over until we get the key no fragment. Need to be upset. I'll come back time and time again. I'll see you again someday. <laughs> okay, I guess I guess she wants to see us again. <laughs> How nice of her. She wants to pay us a visit. Well, we still don't have the key fragments, so as far as I'm concerned, this adventure isn't over yet. And also, I've only completed 63% of the events, so there's still at least, like, you know, 40% of this game left. How's our party doing? Um, 5PB and Red still have a bit of catching up to do before I can really use them, but Gust and Nisa, they did, they've held their own in that fight, honestly. Anyways, I'm gonna buy some gelatins, because I'm kind of running low on those. Buy like 36 of those. Do we have any new weapons? Any new weapons? Iffy, you have any new weapons? No. Um, we have the... What the hell's the buff rod? A staff used mainly for cracking skulls. That's a physical rod. Oh, interesting. Let's give her the fire dragon staff. We'll give Nisa the pretty railgun. And now I'm broke. Great. I guess we also gotta save up for these weapons for 5 PB and red. Okay, well, with the rest of my money, then I'm gonna buy some gelatins. Some gelatins and reflexes. Alright, now I'm broke. But it's worth it. They're gonna do a, a lot more damage now. So we go from 1,800 to 3,000. That is a really big increase. Also, why does she still have the why does she still have the youth bandage on? Did I not give her the vintage bracelet? Wow, now Nice is even more tanky. <laughs> Oh, that's why- that's why Gus was taking so much damage, because she only has 2,800 defense. Compared to everybody else, it's like 3,200. Kampa and Gus are fragile, but that's kind of the point. Because they're your- your- your goaded magic users. I really love- I really love Red's little, like, like, icon. She's just- she's doing, like, the- the funny face. Take my dragon, stargazing boy, dancing butterfly, a goddess and her people. The CPU Greenheart reflects on her priorities as the battle subsides. Along with the, the party, she interrogates the Archbishop regarding his objectives. Lady Greenheart, we cracked the jaw of that wicked evangelist! Thank you. 
I wish we could celebrate right away with a LAN party, but... <laughs> God damn it. The Archbishop and Aristocrat's leader are here. This is far more important to the future of Leanbox. What are these underage girls doing here? Neptune's <laughs> your arch enemy for crying out loud. They're a part of this too, so I'm having them attend this meeting. I'll accept no objections. Yep, you better listen. The Basilicom's concealment of the truth led to this ordeal. I'll hear your reasoning. The Parliament's revolt is our shame, so I was only trying to conceal all the facts regarding... Not a good excuse. Why are Kassok on fire? We heard everything from Jad. You're trying to hide the fact the revolt was meant to allow heretics a chance to escape the Sanctuary's oppression. Ooh, exposed. Truth? Answer, Ivoire. That is true. However, it is the Basilicom's duty to subdue heretics, to protect our goddess's reputation. I will accept any punishment you have. But believe me when I say everything I've done has been in our goddess's best interests. Well, if the goddess is punishing you, then I don't think it was in her best interest, was it? <laughs> I am at fault for relying on you to handle everything. Oh, sad music. My title as CPU meant next to nothing. I could have prevented this if I really took my role seriously. Thinking about woulda and coulda won't do anything. But if you admit you goofed up, you can do better, right? Yeah, that's, just, that's a surprisingly deep line coming from Neptune. Your optimistic outlook hasn't changed, even after losing your memory. You're right, though. It's time to turn things around. Nep Nep, you said you were looking for a key fragment? Oh crap. Oh. I totally spent I think this is like that. the one seventeenth time it's played. So tired of waiting. Do you know where one is? It's guarded by a strong monster, right? I may have an idea. There's a dungeon Convi used to frequent. Maybe it's worth looking into. Oh shit, guys. We're about to get our next key fragment. I will tell you its location later, but first, we really do need to celebrate. Let's go to the Red Ring Table. The Red Ring Table? This is the third time I've invited you to a party. Well, the first time was by the Archbishop. We don't count that. We don't count him. Who cares what he says? I get to celebrate with a party. Blue Shadow of a Dragon. Is that, is that a reference to Blue Dragon for the Xbox? It's been such a scorchy hot time lately. Is it summer or something? Maybe. I wonder if heat from game industry's core is getting more intense. Oh, 118. A little rain could cool the air down. We shall perform the ritualistic ring dance. Keep that fantasy garbage to Louis, please. I should get a parasol or something before I burn. That just get in the way of fighting. Why don't we get a big fan or air conditioner to pull along with us? Right, we don't even have a power outlet. Hmm, mm-hmm. I guess there's not even a store to get that stuff around here. I don't need their idiocy on top of the heat to frustrate me. Kappa, you go to nursing school, right, you know? Isn't there, a, like, a medical trick to get cooler, like acupuncture? Don't expect me to know anything, but sure, I know a great way to cool down. Fantasmic! So what do we do? Let's go sit under a tree's shade. That's a fairly primitive technique. But that's all we can do now. Let's head over there and think about our next move. Oh, you know, this shade's a bit wacky. It's all blue and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't even look like a tree. More like an animal. The shade's actually a lot bigger than the tree itself. Isn't this totally backwards? This is the shadow of a dragon. Oh, 119. Whoa, scary dude alert. You're setting off all my suspicious alarms. Dude, it's the fucking lethal company guy. I'm but a petty manga author. No one's suspicious. You're not very convincing when you're wearing a gas mask. Take it off before you speak. But it's not my business. I cannot go out in public without this mask. You can say I'm a bit shy. 
Are you that scared of being un an ungo? Don't worry, we'll laugh it off you somehow. It's about this shadow. To protect this town, the light of the people's hearts created this blue shadow of a dragon. It's our guardian. It appeared here now to save you from the heat. Oh, that's so nice. There are so many different shadows in the world. Oh, 120 times. Well, you said you're a manga author. What kind of manga do you create? Oh, nothing great. I like drawing things where men with spiky hair shout, power up, and have their clothes rip. Oh, haha. <laughs> I think I know what he's talking about. That's modest. What if you're really super famous? World famous manga author. <laughs> Whatever. If that were true, I'd eat noodles upside down. Add some hot sauce to mine. Yeah, I guess nobody like that would get involved in blue shadows of dragons and stuff. <sighs> Akira Toriyama mentioned? <laughs> Possibly. I like how I have this camera speed on 100 and it's still too damn slow. <laughs> Lean box key fragment. The party's energized by a clue about the fragment. Courtesy of Greenheart. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. Well, let's hope. Alright, Sealed Ruin. Somehow I feel like this dungeon is going to kick my ass. Alright. I don't know, I just have a, feel I have a bad feeling this dungeon is going to kick my ass. Especially considering, you know, Gust and Nisa are 8 levels behind Iffy. Yeah, so I don't think Neptune's been getting any experience. It's okay, though. She doesn't need the experience right now. We're trying to level up everybody. Mm. Everyone, get ready! There, here it comes. D danger! Is this guy actually dangerous? The Valkyrie. Well, it's definitely tankier. Getting better. I mean, this is like the end of the lean box arc, though, right? I only, I only tanked that because I defended. Ooh. Okay. Mm. But here comes another Valkyrie. <laughs> the surprise motherfucker. Did you think I never let my I like this music though. This music never gets old. Oh shit. No gust. Oh, surprisingly, that didn't kill. There we go. Alright, third Valkyrie. We gotta fight, like, a whole wave of these dudes. This is a bonus. This is a bonus. Bonus is a bonus. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh, Gust. No, Gust! Oh, I can't. No, Gust is dead! Okay, we might have to reset this dungeon then. Because <laughs> Gust fucking died from the Valkyrie. Entering Max. Rip, rip experience. There's still more! There's still more Valkyries! What the shit? Oh boy. Bad idea. Oh god. Keep fighting. We're barely gonna come out of this alive. A hero. 
That kind of sucked. I'm all beat. I didn't even give that much experience. Well, I mean, it gave almost 10,000. It's not bad. Still shitty though. That I took that that much damage. Okay, well here's the problem. Um, does Gust have any other way to heal besides um, the healing pod? Actually, actually, if he can, he has Quick Pod. He restores 50% of the party's health. And also, that would have been a good time for Big Green Grass, I think. So, Gust might be okay. Anyways, where is the treasure at? Let's see what we find. There's no treasure in this dungeon? Okay. Interesting. Not what I not quite what I expected. I mean honestly, it's probably just better if I leave the dungeon than waste my resources. <laughs> I can just walk to the exit and then just restart this. Since we've already went that way, now we don't have to go there on the second uh, visit. Probably way easier just to leave then. Get my health back that way. How much money do I have now? I got 5,000 credits, so I got a bit more to spend. All right. Yeah, my money, my money hasn't been that good recently. Then again, I've been spending a lot of money on, you know, leveling up all these characters. All right, let's try that again. Now I don't have to worry about, um, you know. What am I trying to say? We don't have to go that route now, so we can just skip it and go right past it. Alright, I have a feeling a monster's gonna come in a second here, so I wanna... Let's try calling them again. Let's fight fair and square! <laughs> no Nepmeister gameplay. Nope, because uh, 5PB... Or not 5PB, uh, Nisa and Gust, uh, they need time to shine. Not a good start. <laughs> not a very not a good start. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna defend with Gust so she can heal. So I'm pretty sure she still needs that. Yeah. There we go. Now Gus is fine. <laughs> Are we doing anything? Don't know yet. I haven't figured out what we should do tomorrow. I'm not sure it will be a good game to play. Did you think Did you think that was it? Alright, let's defend. They're bullying Gust again. <laughs> All right. I'll finish. We don't really have a whole lot of games besides Soku and Trash, do we? <laughs> Kinda of having trouble thinking about that. This is a bonus. Yeah, just just keep just keep comboing. Oh boy. Oh, she she tank she tanked that pretty well, surprisingly. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna heal again. We kind of need the heal anyway. 
Even though we're running low on uh, items, we kind of need it <laughs> to survive these Valkyrie attacks. Here comes another one. <laughs> Getting better. <laughs> yeah. What could we play? Did you think that? Because I don't really like. Again, I don't really have a whole lot of games. Maybe we, we maybe we should try finding like something short and sweet we could play uh, before Jose finishes Radiant Dawn. Right? They're bullying Gus again, dude. Is she even like... I, uh, oh no, so we don't have... Um, wait, Gust Excellent Heal when she's below 20% HP. Yeah, this costs 15 to use every time. Honestly, I don't mind. Alright, let's defend. This is that's, a good, that's a good heal, though. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. I, I'd have to really think about that. Because it's not like we could start a... It's not like we could just start up another FE game, because those games take a while. <laughs> they take a while to do. Alright, there's all the Valkyries, and, if I, and uh, Gus survived this time. There's no, there's no um, hidden treasures in here, so we just gotta make a beeline for the boss. Do do do, do 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 do. All my good deeds are paying off. Reflex five units. Well, I mean, honestly, trash might not be a bad idea. We haven't played trash in a while, and I haven't booted up the game in a long time. So, trash might be a good idea, honestly. It's just I would have to boot the game up like a crap ton of <laughs> hours in advance. Just don't expect me to add all the music you guys requested because I've been not in the mood to mod Smash recently. Yeah, you don't want to do Garen Quest until, um, Radiant Dawn is finished. Because Garen Quest is a, is a game we're all going to do together, and that's, you know... That's basically going to replace the days that Jose plays Radiant Dawn, essentially. All my good deeds are paying off! Which means we're probably gonna have to do that game more in the evenings instead of the morning, because Jose's not a morning guy. He's because he had, he works graveyard shifts, so he can't be on in the mornings because <laughs> he has to sleep in the day. Is there dead ass nothing here? This is dead. Ass oh wait, no, there's a chest here. Yay! That is not worth it. What time? Like, I don't know, probably... What time does he usually do it at? He does it at, like, 9 p.m. usually. Maybe I could convince him to do it earlier, at, like, 7 p.m. I think the boss is over this way. Oh, no, it's one of these fucking guys. Oh, boy. Alright. Am I ready for another one of these assholes? Not gonna lie, it might be better to just have someone like Neptune out, but you know what? I'm determined to do this with Gust and Nisa. So let's do it. We will win. I mean honestly, this boss design really goes hard. Like, it's a fucking spider guy with a keyblade sword. 
Like, that design goes hard, you gotta admit. Oh yeah, he he's gonna take a while to take Did down. Did you think that was it? Did you think that was it? I honestly, I kind of feel like Gus should have. Um, I feel like she should have the healing pot on. Special heal. Yeah, special heal all is good. But she has to be afflicted with, um, high tension for it to even affect. Or for it to even kick in, you know? I'll finish you off! Not a good, not a good start. Wow. That's not a good start. And unfortunately, I can't reset in the middle of a boss. Okay. Hold on. Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, somehow now this- now somehow now the Hibiscan is invalid. Weird. <laughs> it deleted these from my inventory? What happened there? Okay, that's weird. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's Epicent Sauce, so... Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good sauce. Hold up. That, that is good. I think that's Lilina and Julia, I think? I, 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 not, I don't know all my Nep... Uh, I don't know all my characters. I almost said Neptune characters. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we're gonna attempt this damn boss again. And hopefully, Gust won't get targeted. Unexpected. We'll see. He just has to not attack her twice. That's all I'm this asking for, bonus. bro. Take it home. Like, it, it's simple as that. Just don't target. Just don't target Gus two times. There we go. Better. Okay. That, I'm fine with. I'm fine with that. So, it is, it is, uh, Lilina and Julia. So, I was right. Entering map. So now we can have Gust use, um, yeah, the special heal pot. That's gonna be, like, the saving grace of this, uh, battle, is that right there. Granted, I don't run out of items, which, you know, I hope I don't. What do you think? What do you think? I never miss target. Boom. <laughs> that is really strong. She's gonna keep getting uh, good combos. A perfect com okay, now, now you need to defend Gust. This is for everyone. Yeah, like that. That heal is super good. Now we're not gonna get in. Now we're not gonna be in a shitty loop anymore because um, now Gust has actually defended. So she can actually, you know, not die instantly over oh. and over. Did you think that was it? I mean, like dying is still possible, but it's not I as possible. Because we're not gonna be taking much damage now. Because so, I have everybody defended. Out. Oof, the paralysis is not good though. I, I have I have Nisa just always cure the paralysis though, so she's gonna be fine. I'll finish you off. All right, defend. Have uh, have Gus just to keep attacking. Ooh. 
That's pretty good. Alright, there's the Fen now. I don't know how I'm gonna cure Iffy's Paralysis, though, because... Iffy's Paralysis, for it to kick in... She has to get hit. She has to get hit for it to kick in. So... Yeah. Maybe I could just have it be a 35% chance to happen when she get, takes damage? Maybe. Well... The uh, paralysis kicked in again. All right, getting better. The thing is, if the paralysis is only a minor annoyance, it's not actually like I don't really find it bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I only find it minorly annoying. Oh, she's also paralyzed. Uh, that didn't hurt. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah, the paralysis is kind of annoying. I don't think Dust even cure paralysis. He doesn't cure paralysis. Oh, shit. So she's stuck with that now for the rest of this fight. That's okay, let's go. Those guys have dead. We're having much better luck this time around. It's still my turn. This is a deal. Alright, now we need to, um, do the Fire Dragon Staff. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Slap. Slap him. <laughs> Alright, now heal up. Would you like special item? Now it actually feels fair and balanced, because I can heal on command. So, thank you, Gust. Did you think that was it? Yeah, we're literally all healed up, so we're not gonna have anything to worry about. Can you block this? Oh shit, got a guard break. I need to go test. Boom, four thousand damage. It's pretty damn good. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, we've got this. There we go. Oh, that. Okay, so that one fully heals the party. Oh shit, that was actually really good. Wait, so Iffy's version heals paralysis on everybody, but Nisa's doesn't. Why the fuck is? Why the fuck does the game lie to me, dude? It clearly says right here restores everyone's HP, but this one only heals Nisa. You can't trust the fucking descriptions. Because Gusts is also wrong, because it says it heals herself, but it heals everybody. If I didn't if I didn't find that out on my own, I would have been I wouldn't have been using them, you know. So thank god we figured that out. Surely that's not a that surely that mistake doesn't exist in the Japanese version, right? That wouldn't make sense. Oops, I, I, I ran out of AP. Oh wait, we got another turn actually. All right. I never let my prey go. Hmm. I don't. I don't. I can't count on myself to get a guard break, so I'm just gonna leave it. This fight is going way better than last time, though. <laughs> Entering max power. Actually, I think we're about to kill him. I don't do this for fun. Boom. A heroine's turn never ends. Yeah, Nisa, go Nisa. Oh, time for a call out. She killed that dude. Yo, I got the last key fragment, dude. And everybody got a level up. Level up. Ooh, my level went up. Red got a few levels. I'm getting stronger and stronger. Doramo. My PB got a level up. Good, everybody got a level up after that.
Except Nep. But Nep is really high level, so... Yep. 120 times! 121, I don't know. I lost track. these key fragments behind strong monsters everywhere? Why would they scatter the items to release Isti's seal if they wanted her to stay locked up forever? Maybe they were gonna let her out if she was a good girl or they needed her. So they can just seal and release her over and over just like that? Isti is... a person, right? Right? Actually, I don't know. I don't think she is. <laughs> that... we'll know when we meet her. She's got a really cute voice, though. I bet you she's like our age. I hope. <laughs> I don't want to find out she's a nasty end boss monster in disguise, you know? Oh, wow. How much different would the Neptunia series be if that were the case? <laughs> that would suck. I would most definitely cry if that happened. Okay, well, we don't want Kappa crying, so... Hopefully that doesn't happen. Lean box 3-6 key. Oh, god damn it, you clever bastards. Alright, Eastwar is released. We have to go back to Planet Tune for that, though. Wait, isn't there stuff in Planet Tune anyway? How many wives? Bed sharing. Well, we'll go back to Louis at some point, but for now. Uh, Planet Tune is our current place of interest. So that we did it, guys. We finished. We did it. We got all the key fragments. Does that mean I'm finally gonna get a new save uh, message? Let me see. Let me see what it says now. Release of Eastor. We <laughs> it finally says something new <laughs> instead of find the key fragments. Hooray! That's that's I, what I, that's what I'm most excited about. The fact that it doesn't say find the key fragments anymore. Considering two thirds of this game is just spent finding the key fragments, so you just see that dialogue every time. All right, so let's go get Planet Tune to come over here. All right, uh, search, search the. Teleportation to Planet Tune. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Again, if there's one thing Rebirth 1 does better, it's going between nations. You don't have to do the stupid teleportation gimmick. This will be easy. Yeah, I should, I should, you know, hear more people out. Like, why do they not like this game? Let's just say we're on a different battle set. Battle system slow. Is that is that one reason? Because you can just speed it up by mashing L two, which kind of solves the whole problem of it being slow. Random encounters. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of random encounters, but you can disable it with the monster call. Also, I just want to show off the Planet Tune cutscene again because it's it's so good. They put so much, like, effort into this damn animation, but I want to show it again. So apparently Planet Tune is, like, the city of, fut of, like, the future. Which, yeah, I guess that is the theming of Planet Tune. Because Last Station's kind of like a steampunky future, but not like future future, if that makes sense. That probably doesn't make any sense. No, that, yeah, that, that doesn't make any sense, but... <laughs> Louis, you know, is based on like magic and stuff, the land of magic. Leanbox is like the land of medieval and royalty. And Planet Tune is just, you know, future. Anyways, uh, let me turn on the Japanese voices for a sec. It's a good thing they let you do this. So I don't have to download two separate versions of the game to actually, um, you know, enjoy this. Alright, how many wives? Red is learning how to win the hearts of her fellow party members. Oh, 121 times. 
コンパお姉ちゃんも一発オッケーと。ネコは攻略中。ワイフィーハンチ。ここに来ていよいよ難しくなってきた。ネコはコンパお姉ちゃんとも仲良しだし、てっきり同時攻略できると思ってたのに。急にルートから外れたり戻ってきたり難しいアイちゃんもネプコを嫁にするのだけは無理かもって言ってたもんねネプスアグリーメント私とネプコだけは首輪をつけたくってもつけられないってそれほどでもないよね。Reddit just such a silly little lady, isn't she? <laughs> That's what I like about her. Yeah, yeah! Oh, you're 22. Are you going to get it? I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Red really, Red really is like a second Neptune. The, you know, I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe some of the concept art for Neptune actually kind of looks like red. So they kind of just reused the design for a different character. <laughs> Could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I saw that one time. Alright, well,、uh, is there anything else? Nope, okay. So we're gonna. Alright, guys, it's the moment of truth. We're gonna release SD. Actually, I don't think. Did I, did I put it on English? I can't tell. Oh, 123 times! No, but I didn't put it on English. <laughs> Hold on. Alright, we're back. I actually said it to English this time. Because we gotta hear it. We gotta hear i n i s t i bro. We gotta hear her. And no, I'm not counting this again. I was just thinking, but what are we supposed to do when we get all four key fragments? Rescue Isti, of course. Did you forget about that too? No, no, I mean, she hasn't told me where she is. Actually, she said she doesn't know. Isti! You don't know that? I guess we never really discussed her location, but come on. Maybe she's being guarded by a strong monster too. Like the key fragments. That、uh, wouldn't surprise me. We should be able to find her if we keep looking for strong monsters. Problem solved. Oh, actually, maybe it isn't time to release Isti yet. There is no need for that. Isti? Can you hear me? Can you chat right now? Over. Yes, Neptune. I'm so sorry I've been unable to keep in touch lately. Hey, I'm busy. It took you three years to respond to me. Isti says she's sorry for not contacting us. I wish you would have, like, texted us. Over. <laughs> texted us. I can us. hear her. It's faint, but I can hear her. You can too, right, Hippie? Yeah, but barely. How, though? We were never able to hear anything before. Maybe, uh, maybe collecting all the key fragments has allowed us to receive it. I don't know. It's most likely because I've become a tough, independent girl who doesn't cry. Yeah, sure. Well, we'll consider that part of your character arc. Actually, that has nothing to do with it. My seal has weakened since the fragments are gathering in one place. It also has something to do with you all being on Planetune. Hmm, Planetune、yeah, is good. My cell phone is working again, too. We must be getting more bars all over the place. <laughs> well, I wish, I wish my reception got better as I approved. Now, As a person. It is possible you are closer to where I am being held. The key fragments should lead you to me. I heard you sure, the first、oh, time while on this land. Dude, it's like a、too. GPS. All right, <laughs> so the fragments will know where Isti is. Over. Just don't try to talk to them. I don't think they will respond to you. Right. Try watching them closely. They should show some response as you come ever closer to me. All right, bet. Here? Doesn't look too wacky. Actually, it's pretty much normal, normal. What a weird looking cave. Yes. This is an important area. 
It could have looked a little unique. I'm a tad disappointed. Why would anyone hide something in a place that stands out? Well, you know what they say. The stuff that you can see is the stuff that's very easily missable. Are we going to have to do a dungeon to save Isti? You know, I wouldn't put it past this game. Because I don't remember, honestly. I don't remember how saving Isti works in this in the first game. Uh, I think, yeah, yeah, we're going to have to go there. The Goddess Ruins. All right, well, we got we got to release Isti, dude. Is this gonna be like a massive difficulty spike? No, I sure hope not. Cause that would kind of suck if it was. Oh wait, I see a monster. Let me get ready. Let's fight fair and square. Ding ding ding. Get ready. At least you get some banger music again. I'll take the free 150,000 experience. This is a bonus. You know, so I should probably I should probably should have had Neptune out for this. Go, musical words. It's still wow, guard break just from that. <laughs> this is a hey, at least we got lots of AP. All right, getting better. Time to defend. Barely taking any damage from this guy, because this guy is piss easy by this point. I mean, he's a free 150,000 experience. What else am I going to do? Yeah, okay, just let me jam out to this music some more. I never let my prey go. Alright, do your do your thing. That barely does any damage anyway. A heroine's turn. A heroine's turn. I'll finish you. I'm nep. This is a bonus. Take it home. I never let my prey. Oh yeah, so I have some interesting news. I don't, I don't, I don't, know, if, I don't know if it's interesting, but I was talking to Marquise last night, and um, I was telling him how um, how Monsoko Two is really great, and he said he actually played it. He actually said he played twelve point three before, and I was like, hey, you want to play Soku Two next week? And he said, sure. So now me and him are going to play Soku 2 next week. So now I have another person to introduce Soku 2 to. It's kind of funny, honestly. So that's kind of why I don't really want to play Soku on Sunday, because I'm going to be playing Soku 2 with him on Tuesday. So I don't want to play Soku 2 like, like two days apart from each other. That's basically the gist of it. I don't think we're finishing this guy off. Then we gotta finish with Gus. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'm going all out. Boom, boom, boom. Kill him. These are good bullets. I'm never this generous. Aiming is perfect. <laughs> I love how powerful that is. I ex 
expect good ingredients. That's a lot of there's a lot of experience. Pretty much everybody gets a level of super service. Yeah, one level. Five PB got two levels from that. She got Dimension Breaker. So now they're like kind of getting kind of catching up. Neptune still hasn't gotten any experience. That's okay though. That's kind of, it's kind of weird having only seven party members. So that means someone's gonna eventually fall behind. But yeah, I think I'd say like we're definitely catching up. It really looks like there's space for two more party members, but nobody else can join as far as I know. Kind of weird, honestly. Uh, so I don't think he can leave this dungeon. Well, surely this dungeon will be that hard, and then if those are the enemies we can expect to find in here. And also, in terms of completion, we've done 64% of events. So we can probably bump that up to 65% when we're done this episode. Unless it's just a random difficulty spike, which this game loves to do. All my good deeds are paying off. It loves to do that randomly. Just randomly loves to throw in a difficulty spike for no reason. Ready to win this? Hornets? That's it? The army bee. I never let me It's just a bee. I never let my prey go. Should probably apply big green grass. No, okay, so the enemies are still piss easy, but the bosses are, like, the real challenge. Alright, let's apply... Big Green Grass. And that should be good. Is there a- where's the treasure at in here, by the way? Is there a treasure in here? My turn to do something? Oh no, I think the treasure is all the way up there. Probably not gonna get it then, if that's the case. Well what do we have over here? Remember, running is option. Running is option. <laughs> that's it's something you gotta remember a lot, guys. You gotta remember that running is option. Don't forget this that. Dark Rabbit. Okay, they're they're a little strong. Ouch. Damn, damn rabbits, chill. A heroine's Kill the rabbit. I'm never this generous. Kill the rabbit. Yeah. Nice timing, huh? No problem at all. That's Come good. back anytime. Big green grass carrying for real. So I'm guessing the treasure's not here. Let's see what we find. Yep, so the treasure is all the way on the opposite side of the dungeon, which is something I'm not gonna be getting. Unless I leave the dungeon and come back. Probably should have done treasure search earlier. I mean, for all I know, this could be this could be a dead end. Get serious, or we'll get beat. Well, I could definitely kill the horn in one turn. The bees, the bees are easier. All right, getting better. I never let my. Can't kill a rabbit in one turn. It's because it's rabbit season, you know. Can't kill the rabbits in one turn. Yeah. Like the shittiest Elmer Fudd voice of all time. What the hell? <laughs> Anything valuable? Oh, amusement waltz. <laughs> Red got a level up from that. All right. So is this the is this the uh, exit of the dungeon? Let's find out. If this is a dead end, 
then, um, oh, no, this is actually the boss. I have been waiting for you. It must have been of, a I'm difficult of a journey tea already. I am glad everyone has made it safely. Thank you so very much for gathering the key fragments. Hello? Where are you, Isti? Where's the girl with the cute voice? Here, Isti, Isti, Isti. Come on out, girl. I am the book before you. Oh, the book. I am a tome. I contain all information regarding this world. So this book is Isti, 122. Huh? All right. 123. Well, what do we do now? I think it's 123 now. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm sure if you put the fragments together, something will happen. Like a puzzle? One sec. Let me give it a try. <laughs> Imagine you actually have to do a puzzle here. And it starts playing like... You know, super relaxing music. I'll help you too. Well, this one obviously goes here. Oh, that one's on this edge. Um. <laughs> what? It's Is if you're just gonna look it up. Anyway, maybe we should just stack them like a totem pole. Oh, oh, it's glowing. Would she actually do it? Esty, there she is. Thank you. Now I am freed from that seal. She's so cute. Look at her. Nice to meet you. I'm Isti, or <laughs> rather, Istoire. Oh yeah, she does the funny little um, cow emoji or whatever it's called. She sounds kind of the same. One twenty-four. Not really what I expected. <laughs> Neptune's face. <laughs> I look a little different when I'm a tome, like a book. <clears throat> Minor changes are normal. Okay, so Isti is just Nep's pet name for you. Anyway, that's one down. What are we doing now? We're gonna go after Overlord Momus and R4. We're not done yet. Are we supposed to know her name? I summoned God. Yep, I did. We didn't find either of them, even though we were zooming all over the world. Got any cryptic metaphors for us, Isti? <laughs> more go more games need a cute little, like, god girl. More games need that. Unfortunately, rather fortunately, Overlord Momus does not exist. It was all fabricated by R4. R4 disguised herself to suit various situations. All of these are complete falsities. Oh, well, well, shit. To top it off, you all actually have bought R4. Nuh-uh. Wait, so Momus is all pretend, and R4 is the one spreading stories about him? Oh, wait, so we're not supposed to know that R4 is the big crazy, crazy lady with the hat. We heard this story from a heretic first, who heard it from an evangelist. She came to us about it too at one point. But that evangelist was like a witch who was all stalking and attacking us. That was also Momus' messenger, huh? Yeah, you putting it together, Nep Nep? Sometimes she's an evangelist, sometimes the Overlord's messenger. She was doing this all to achieve one end. In that case, we've already beat up R4. No, all those fabrications were mirrors of her true self she created. Wait, really? Did you not notice? On each land, you dealt with some sort of scheme she created. So that's how she was in multiple places at once? She did keep coming back over and over, but they were all different lands. I just thought they kind of looked similar. So what was her objective? She's been involved in a whole lot, but I don't have any idea who she is. Wait, so you're telling me that this whole time we were just fighting like fake clones of R4? That's kind of wild, honestly. I wasn't expecting that. True. There is still much I have to tell you. How about we find a place we can have a more comfortable discussion? I was expecting like a boss fight or something, but no, we just go to some random dungeon with hornets and rabbits and boom, Isti. I kind of prefer the reveal in Rebirth 1 though, because she has a little cutscene, you know? Data recovery. She has like a little CG image that she gets, but she don't, you don't get that here. It's just, oh, poof, she's here. 
All right, I'm back. I'm back from my break. I got some juice. I had a granola bar. I had to top up the the jug of water in the fridge. <laughs> you know, typical stuff, really. Uh, I forgot if I saved, so I'm just gonna save again, just in case. Always save as much as possible. <laughs> Alright, so next up we have Loudmouth Gaming Boy. <laughs> Everyone meets a boy filled with passion about gaming, but IF finds him a bit disagreeable. Here comes a boy. He's got a nifty game console in his hands. What's up, kiddo? I, I need to get this fixed. Looks like a pretty old model. I don't think it's even available to purchase. So, I like it. In fact, it was a huge success in the foreign lands. The Mortola 68,000 processor inside it means it's got blast processing and can kick some serious butt. Though the sales pitch, the first domestic 16-bit game console is a bit inaccurate. Another 16-bit console was released six years prior within its home country and eight years prior outside of its country. Is this going to take a long time? Oh, sorry, but I should get going. What's up with that brat? He's got no respect for his elders. But you're kind of immature too. <laughs> what, a, what a great cutscene. <laughs> Loud mouth gaming boy again. <laughs> Part 2. Hey, isn't that... Oh, it's 16-bit. Who are you calling 16-bit? Just because I appreciate older models doesn't mean I don't have the 32-bit next-gen ones. The next one from that console maker. Ah, oh, you mean the one which sold the least out of all their products? If fee. Huh, I'll say what you want. Personally, I still think highly of the consoles able to focus on both 2D and 3D rendering functions. I mean, releasing it the same day as announcing it, but they use polygons in movies eventually. You're lying. I gotta go. Haha, <laughs> I got him good this time. Don't get into such a serious duel with a little boy. Alright, now for Loudmouth Boy Part 3. Oh shit, I was joking. <laughs> Loudmouth Gaming Boy Finale. Oh guys, I love the Loudmouth Gaming Boy series. Is that... Oh, you again? 124 times? Has a hang, 2D boy. Shut it! Oh, enough already. This happens like every time you two see each other. Whoa, look at that! The guy getting into a car over there! Isn't he the director of your favorite game company? Oh, you're right! This company sucks! <laughs> hey, that was wrong with you. Why are you acting like that? He definitely heard you. It's fine. I think games from other companies are so much better! <laughs> wow, first time we heard that song, I think. Oh, did you see how disappointed the director looked? I want to give him a big hug. It's my way of cheering them on. If they're strong, it'll motivate them to develop a new console and I'll be happy. You like them enough to make yourself into an enemy, huh? Sometimes consumers have to take on the role of a bad guy. Anyway, I gotta go. I can tell he's gonna be something big one of these days. What is this melodramatic skit doing in this game? <laughs> Nice one, Kampa. Breaking the fourth wall as usual. I swear, Kampa breaks the fourth wall more than Neptune does at this point. At least in this game. Jeez. Like, what's her, what's her deal? Alright, make that 65% of event completion. Actually, I don't think that, co that counts towards event completion. Truth about Neptune and her nemesis. Everyone succeeds in rescuing Eastwar. There are many questions, but first they need a nice place to settle down. We gonna go to like a park or something? Well, where should I start? 
Not that I know much, right? How about I introduce myself formally and talk a bit about Celestia? Well, we're gonna have like the big ass lore dump here. You mean where the goddesses live? Did you come from there too? Why, yes. I have been part of the goddesses' powers for a long time. One goddess in the past gave me a portion of her powers in the event she would try to misuse it. What kind of power did you get? What are you capable of doing? Isti is very OP. If you've played Rebirth 2, you'd know. <laughs> Nothing alone. Same goes for the goddesses. Well, actually, Isti's in Rebirth 3 as well, I think. So, she's pretty OP in that game, too. They cannot change the world without my explicit consent. So, you're like the boss. You the but boss. I still don't get exactly what you are. I am the world. The world is me. Everything within this tome is within this world. I am thou. Thou art I. Change the tome, then the world will change, and vice versa. I am one with the world. She is literally the universe as a book and as a waifu. Crazy. Crazy shit right here. Since the beginning of my existence, all succeeding goddesses ruled and made changes to the world through me. Oh, you got control over everything. How did you get locked away then? A goddess is the only one able to script changes in the tome. I could only try to resist in vain. And yeah, isn't R4 like technically a past goddess? I am just a part of one almighty goddess. I only contain the power to execute an idea. Yeah, try executing Order 66 next. <laughs> so the goddesses are the ones who think up the ideas. Correct. To make a change in the world, we are both necessary. I get you. Oh, 126. She scratches your pages, and you scratch her itchy spots. Sure, if that is how you want to put it. <laughs> that is the gist of our symbiotic existence. Now, to the main topic. Mm, the, tea, the, the, the tea is spilling. The one interfering with all you have been trying to accomplish is none other than the former goddess, R4. I mean, if you think about that, that's pretty badass. You gotta take down a- you gotta take down an ex-goddess? She is attempting to destroy this world. She's like a false goddess now. <laughs> she is trying to weaken the goddess's powers by summoning monsters to affect the amount of faith powering Celestia. The oh, 127. Getcha. It's possible for a goddess to burn multiple copies of discs illegally. Burning illegal copies, eh? That aside, I have been following your journey by writing inside the tome. Sunj in Lastation, Ivoire in Leanbox, and Ganache in Louis. It seemed like corporations, basilicoms, and the guild were the cause of all the ordeals, but it was our force influence. Yeah, so she R4 is like the really big bad, even though we have all these other assholes like getting manipulated by her. Those oh, names don't 128 really times. Don't remember any specifics. That wasn't very long ago, Nep Nep. That said, R4's goal is to rule over a decimated <laughs> world. <laughs> her face. I do not know her intentions, but we must do something. I love that. I love that, you know, Neptunia is just like the it's like the game that I introduced the, the phrase Oreo Eyes. If it wasn't for Neptunia, I wouldn't be saying Oreo Eyes, but I blame this game for making me think of that. We don't have any <laughs> idea where she is. Do we have to go all over the world again? Jet lag is making me gain weight. How the fuck? <laughs> that is due to your eating habits. But there is no need. I am the world's everything, and it is my everything. I remember you saying that line before, so you really are the Isti I've been looking for. Now that I am freed, I can find anything. According to the records within the tome, R4 is hiding in Celestia. Well, how the fuck do we get to Celestia then? With the goddesses vacated, she has taken the opportunity to control the Holy Land. How bold. As expected of her. Then, wait a second. 
How are we going to get her if she's all the way up there? Yeah, where is Celestia anyway? Fairy tales usually say it's beyond the sky. Should we take a shuttle from Planetoon? <laughs> How awesome would that be? Unfortunately, there is no shuttle running to Celestia. That would be weird. However, there is still one way. Follow me. All right, Most bet. importantly, we must be certain you adorable ladies are capable of defeating her. <laughs> you adorable ladies. That's no problemo. We've blasted her alter egos a bunch of times before. Remember, R for herself is still a complete goddess. Uh, yeah, yeah, she probably wiped the floor with us. It would be best if we could gather all four goddesses to our side. Ooh, okay. We don't got time for that. Monsters are all roar and attacking people. <laughs> we know where she is, so let me go get her. I know how you feel, but don't be so rash. I'm sure Isti needs time to prepare our trip to Celestia anyway. Are we actually gonna go, like, gather up the goddesses, or what? She's right. Haste makes waste. My grandpa's words ring true again. <laughs> we should be cautious and rationable. I love all the mentions of it, of uh, Kampa's grandpa. <laughs> Neptune, please listen to your friends. We still need a little time. Saw. <laughs> great, 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 great cutscene there. Neptune. Sup, Histy? You seem tense. I have been trying to decide whether or not to tell you this because you seem to love how you are now so much. Uh-oh. Um, should we give you two some privacy? No, please stay. I think the two of you should be aware of this as well. Yeah, I mean, Kampa and Ify are just as important as Neptune is now, I think. <laughs> Does it they deserve it. Nep Nep's past? That's right. There's nothing Isti can't tell us. Yes. There is something she has forgotten, which is very, very important. Oh, I'll well, leave it to Neptune to forget something that important. Neptune, you are, in actuality, the CPU of Planetune. <laughs> oh, shit. I apologize. I know it is hard to process and you are speechless, but it is the truth. Do you believe me? I do. I kind of had an idea. This is just the confirmation. What about you, Kampa? Oh, 128. <laughs> Nap Nap is a goddess? Of what? Norse? Greek? Food? Babylonian? Thanks for the expected reaction. <laughs> Nap, are you feeling like Kampa? No, but like... More of a, like, are you sure I deserve this? How is this happening? Nep Nep just fell! From... From the sky! Are you putting it together? Surviving a fall from the sky and stabbing headfirst into the ground. She's not normal. Each <laughs> you don't is say. making a big deal over their goddess descending, except for Planetune. I didn't want to believe myself for thinking it, but I suppose I was right this entire time. So does that mean that, like, the goddesses of the other nations fell too? Yes. I do not know how she fell to the world beneath, but you could hear my voice only because you are a goddess. Oh, that makes so much sense. Are you sure it's okay for me to be a goddess? Whether it is fine or not, you were born a goddess. Please, accept your destiny. <laughs> yeah, she was boring one. I don't remember being a goddess at all. This is going to be a problem for the folks on Planet Tune. Do not worry. Even if you did nothing, your protective powers work on their own. Happy it face. Seems the power weakened a little due to your lack of awareness. But now that you remember, all should be well. So she's going to she's going to have a lot more protective power now that she regained her full memories. Great. All right. The path to Celestia. According to, to Istuar, R4 is in Celestia, where only goddesses may reside. To find a way for Kampla and Ayak to go to, 
Hey, East Wars suggests a unique plan. How do we get to Celestia? Especially Iffy and Compa. They're human. Do you have a way? Yes. Please follow me, and I will explain everything there. Oh man, the tea, the tea is getting so good. Oh, what's this? Holding out on me? Or was this a funky loophole discovered during the script writing process? Stop speculating and come with me. What do you mean by a loophole during the script writing process? All is well. <laughs> Game industry's greatest threat. I didn't think places oh, like damn. still existed on Planet Toon. Damn, check this fucking place out. What the hell? This is a ruin. Built by those who lived long, long before you girls were born. There is a record here detailing weapons carried by some ancient heroes. Weapons? Heroes? Sounds super interesting, but that's not important now. We gotta get to Celestia, stat! But what about the other CPUs? That is what we are here to discuss. A goddess once told me a story, which took place right before I was born. You were born? Who gave birth to you? Long ago, the goddess at the time awakened to her ambition oh, banger music. and desire to take over the world. I can't believe a goddess would want to do such a thing. Even goddesses will sometimes choose the wrong path. It is only natural for one with a heart and emotions. The goddess was eventually stopped by some brave heroes from the human world. Damn, really? These heroes took a road reaching up to Celestia from here. Well, I guess if we can take the road that they have, then yeah, all is well, right? Defeated, the goddess admitted to the error of her ways and promised to never let it happen again. She separated part of her powers away from herself, so she could never again misuse them. I see. The tome, Istwar, is that piece of power separated from the goddess. Oh. Yes. Since then, a goddess cannot make a change in the human world without my consent. <laughs> she has to consent first. <laughs> that means we can all take the road those heroes did to get to Celestia. Maybe it's like a rainbow or something. Well, it is a rainbow in Rebirth 1, I remember that. It is not that simple, actually. The heroes have locked the entrance to the path. Damn it, heroes, why did you do that? Why would they do that? <laughs> it would be so wonderful if we could drop in and talk with the goddesses whenever we wanted. The world is not full of good, righteous humans. The heroes probably believed free access to Celestia would spell trouble. Okay, that's a fair point. Accordingly, the heroes use their own weapons as keys to lock the path. Oh, we gotta find, like, the weapons or something? Okay, so things are coming together. We need to fetch the heroes' weapons to unlock the way to Celestia? It's pretty badass, actually. Oh, I thought you were gonna say we needed the weapons to fight R4. I mean, maybe we do, I don't know. One problem. Since a long period of time has passed, the weapons have been lost. Even to the annals of history, these weapons were given the name of Quartet Arms. We must collect all four to reopen the way to Celestia. Wow, how convenient. There's four of something. There's four nations. Which I guess means we're gonna go to four different nations to collect one weapon. But you could figure that out instantly, right? You are the world and all that. Well, I would need three days. Oh, there's the line. The three days line. So... Instead of wandering around like a buffoon, I'll wait three days to get exact coordinates. I will need three days for each weapon. Oh. So, a total of 12 days, if we're lucky. Oh no, <laughs> 12 days? Bro, are we gonna be fucking goofing off for two weeks just trying to wait for these damn weapons? It could take up to a month per weapon if things get complicated. On foot it is. One weapon per land, right? Is that all we have to go on? Planetune's weapon is within a cave. Glastation's weapon is buried in a field. Leanbox's weapon sleeps in a ruin. Louise's weapon is protected by a snowy forest. That is all I know for now. We'll head out to look for the weapons then. Let us know when you learn more. You can tune into Nep's Thick Skull, right? Understood. Hell yeah. <laughs> Good luck. I will wait here on Kompa's fluffy bouncy bed. <laughs> okay, that's going in my screenshots. That's a funny one. Her fluffy, bouncy bed. 
I can imagine Issy just like having fun bouncing on the bed. Okay. Um Worst Machine of the Year. Oh, that's another dungeon. Cave, legendary weapon. Plant Team's weapons inside a cave. Following Esar's words, the party heads into a cave. Power set of a weapon, they discover the bad bad shit. Let me save. Evil Cave. I think maybe this will be the final dungeon I do today, then. Oh, and we get the 129th time this I song's played. This cave is the one Isti was talking about. Who agrees with little old me? Me! My intuition is screaming exactly that! In the name of this land's CPU, I swear the weapon must surely be inside. Should I trust such sketchy intuition? I hope this isn't some beast's nest. It probably is. Meh. We'll know once we're inside. Let's transform and roll out. <laughs> we don't get to see her transform, though, so... You just kind of have to take your word for it. All right, how tough is this gonna dungeon gonna be? My turn to do something. What? There's no treasure in here either. Been a severe lack of treasures recently. How concerning. Lucky day. Ten reflexes. This yeah. Is bad, right? Burr, burr, burr. Banger music. Oh yeah, these guys are a lot tougher. This is a bonus. This is a bonus. Take it home. Yeah, I can't kill these guys in one turn. I mean, maybe I can. Let's we'll see if this kills. Don't rely on weapons too much. Oh, that didn't kill. These guys. These guys are tanky. Oof. Damn, okay. I mean, they don't really do a lot of damage, though. Oh, okay, never mind. They do a lot of damage. Yikes. Yikes, that is some damage. <laughs> Get rid of that guy. Entering max power mode. Okay, I have a question. What costs more? Big green grass? Or, um, Gust's little spell? 15, 15 across the board? And if he's... I think if he's cheaper, technically. So, let's, let's do that. A perfect combo. Get away! <laughs> I love the little, the little doop, the little noise it makes. How is it? I'm pretty. Thank God. I mind if you count on me next time too. Four, three, thirty-four hundred credits. Not bad. Yeah, these enemies are definitely a lot tougher. So. It's gonna be an uphill battle. So hey, at least the challenge is coming back. Let's just save. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I actually really feel like doing this dungeon right now. So I might actually save it for next time instead. Remember, just do a few fights. Do, do a few dun just do a few fights for now. Yeah. It just kind of sucks that if he can't kill these guys in one turn, unless you got like a crit or something. All right, getting better. It's the only thing I can think of. Did you think that was it? Yeah, she can't kill it. And they have just enough speed. All right, kill this dude. Also, real quick. I'm gonna take big green grass off of the Iffy so she doesn't waste our um our you know stuff. 
Alright. Keep hitting this guy. Entering max power. Alright, if you can take care of this guy, right? Alright. There we go. It's not bad being praised for good work. You get 3,400 credits. Yeah, a decent amount. I'm gonna probably buy some items and prepare. Maybe I should do some grinding or something. I don't know. Uh, so we have Bandit's Treasure. <laughs> we still gotta go to the Wii at some point. I guess we're gonna do the lands in order. Like we're gonna do, we're gonna go Last Station, Lean Box, and then the Wii, right? Probably. Yeah, cause look at how, look at how like little tough mills and stuff we have. We need more gelatins too. I think I will do some grinding off screen then. Because, yeah, I, I'm kind of running low on items, honestly. I don't have a lot of money, so. Might do some of these. Might do some of these optional dungeons off screen, because you guys aren't really missing much. There's not really a lot. There's not really anything interesting in the dungeons, so I'll do some of these dungeons off screen and boost up my uh, dungeon completion, you know? I'm kind of in the mood for that, anyway. But anyways, I think that is a great note to end the episode on. We freed Isti. That's like one of the best things we could have done. Because I love Isti. She's great. She's small. She's polite. And um, sometimes she's also silly. It's great. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching Neptunia for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. Um, I don't think I will play any more of this today. I will probably do- I might do Tomodachi Life later if I get bored. Before I play uh, Danganronpa 2 with my girlfriend. Because I do still need to do more Tomodachi Life, because yeah. It's, it's a fun game to do when I'm bored. Especially for like an hour and whatnot. But, anyways. Oh shit, also Kaze Manuar is doing F3. I need to go tune into that too. So, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I'll see you later, and, um, take care.